Now let's build our daily log. Note, tags and notes with links to other notes may crash the find notes action in shortcuts. This appears to be a bug in this current release of 17.3. Hopefully they'll get this fixed real soon. So this one creates a note with a specific title and a specific note folder. If the note already exists for the day, new text is appended to the original note. So it's great for a journal or for logging or for things like that. So again, we've got to make sure that we've already made our little second brain folder in our notes app, but we've already done that, of course. This shortcut is inspired by the Remember This shortcut found in the Apple Shortcut Gallery. So the gallery is really cool and it's at the bottom of the Shortcuts app if you were to be in the iPhone version. As usual, the first thing we do is dismiss Siri and continue. Then we ask for text just like we have before. But because we are going to give this thing a specific name since it's a log entry, we're going to use a different prompt. So I just decided to say, please record your thoughts here. And then we can allow multiple lines, of course. All right. So now this is that find action, the one that might crash if it finds a tag or a link to a tag. So we're going to find all notes where all of the following are true. The last modified date is today. And that's really cool. Okay. And the folder is our second brain folder. And our name contains something. This could be daily log. It, should, it could be my journal, anything. I just chose Brain Daily. So the name of our log entry or our journal entry or whatever will always be the same. We'll sort by the last modified date with the latest first. And we only want our latest note. Now, if the output of this find, which is called Notes, does not have any value. Let's click and hold on that. And we want to make sure it's notes and not note. We can also choose which one to do first. I just decided not have any value. So if it runs this search and it doesn't find a note for the day, well, it'll create a note. And it's going to use the name that we decided upon. I decided on Brain Daily. You may decide on My Journal or whatever, my log, whatever you decide on and you put up here, make sure it's exactly the same here. Then we do a carriage return and then we do our current date and another carriage return with the provided input and that input that we asked for right at the top. And then we put it in our second brain folder and we make sure we don't open it. So if it does have a value, in other words, if we've already made an entry for the day, let's go ahead and append some dashes and then let's put the current date and then let's do the provided input to our notes. Now we want to make sure that this little dash is here so that it's easy to see that it's a, a second entry or a third entry in that one note. And we want to make sure that we choose notes, not note, because this is the output of our find. All right. We end our if. And then this is where our little keyword helper will go in the future. And then we show our folder. And then we don't know which one because if it's not a new note, it's an appended note. So which one do we show? Well, we show the if result. And that's a cool feature in the Shortcuts app that allows us to do that. We show our if result. So let's run it. There it is. All right. So now let's go back and run it one more time. And there we see it added our spacer. It added our date and our time. And it added our thoughts. Okay, on to the next one.